today about my other dress. Well, that dress oh. is pretty good. Hey. Uh, sorry about that. I was just checking out some of today's Cinema U short films, and boy, do we have an exciting show for you. Can you donate to the studio? That's me. Gotta go. See you in a bit. Welcome to Cinema U. I'm Rebecca Eady. And I'm Casey Tony. Thanks for joining us. Northwest Ohio has a thriving film scene on the campus of Bowling Green State University. Each semester, BGSU students and faculty collaborate with one another and work independently to create short film projects, TV programs, and animations. The following projects are a brief introduction to the creative minds of BGSU. Our first film features the graduate work of theater and film professor Lucas Ostrowski. His film, Blood of My Pen, was shot on black and white 16 millimeter film and was inspired by his love of comic books in the cold winters of the Midwest. Lucas's story is about a man who discovers he has the power to change his reality by drawing. Ready to watch Blood of My Pen? Yep, take film.
a great lesson in being content with what you have. Maybe the filmmaker is trying to say that a broken world with all its problems can't be fixed by dreaming up a new reality. Everyone interprets film differently. In the case of the main character, his greed of power got in the way of a blissful existence. Films are a great vessel to carry profound messages. Regardless of what Lucas intended for his message to be, his film is a creative story with solid cinematography. Our next short is by Alice Markley. Her film is an innocent story about a boy wooing a girl on a hot summer day. Everything goes according to the boy's plan until one-eyed Jack appears. Here's Fishing Trip. About fish. About all the big bright fish that live in all the oceans and streams of the whole big world, and how you'd like to catch all of them, and how someday you will catch all of them. That's dumb. Ain't dumb. It's too. Why, you're so busy thinking about catching fish, you didn't catch any. Because I didn't want to. Then why don't we go fishing? You said you'd catch me a nice big fish today, all for myself. Oh, Mary, I, I meant it. I was going to catch you a fish. But then I thought, well, I thought maybe you wouldn't like a fish today. It's so hot out it would smell, and, and I didn't want it to muss up your pretty dress if it started flailing. You really think my dress is pretty? Prettiest dress i ever seen. That's what you said yesterday about my other dress. Well, that dress was pretty too. But this dress is prettier still. You still could have caught me a fish. Willie Haynes would have caught me a fish. Mary. Mary, wait, I... Jim, did you hear that? Probably just a dog, Mary. Pay it no mind. <gasps> On the other hand, could be One-Eyed Jack. One-Eyed Jack? Who's that? Not who. What? Some say he was a pirate. Some say he was a murderer. Whatever he was, he was so evil, the devil himself wouldn't let him in hell. And so, his spirit is a wanderer in these woods still. Oh, Jim, that ain't true. Honest engine, Mary. He and his pack of devil dogs, these would killed old Pete out here last summer. No. Doc said it was the whiskey. Said that so as not to frighten women and children. But us boys, he told the truth to. Said that one-eyed Jack came up behind him, got his hands around his throat, hands as big as... Oh, don't, Jim, don't! It's okay, Mary. I won't let him hurt you. I'm scared, Jim. You needn't be. Here, I'll show you how to keep off his devil dog. This is a, a, a leaf lock. The devil dogs can't stand the smell of it. You just... 
The devil dogs can't touch you. Quick, let's find some for you, Jim. Oh no, Mary. I'll be fine as long as you're safe. Really, Mary? I don't need it, honest. Well, wear it for me, please. Well, for you. But what about one eyed Jack? Oh no, it'll take more than this to keep him away. That's him, Jim, I'm sure of it. Oh, don't worry, Mary, you're so pretty. I'm sure he'll eat you last. Ah! Hush, he mustn't know we're here. All right, now let's make a run for it. When I say three, one, two, three. There. I think we outran him. We should be safe here. Oh, Jim. On the other hand, we could wait here a while to be sure. He followed us, Jim. He followed us. He... he wouldn't cross out of the woods. Are you sure, Jim? Are you real sure? I think so, Mary. Come on, Mary. Let's go. Let's go real slow. Maybe, maybe he won't know we're here. Mary, he'll hear. Quick, cross your fingers for luck. I want to go home. I don't want to get eaten. Mary, I'll protect you. I won't let anything touch you. Mary, you deserve better. Both of those boys are losers. Wow, you're tough. Seriously, she deserves a good man who can catch a fish. Uh, yeah, a smelly fish. Alice Markley's film had good screen direction. Her film contains several sequences with matched action creating continuity throughout the story. Our next film is titled The Mantis and is directed by BGSU theater and film graduate DJ Gearhart. The Mantis was inspired by Double Indemnity, a 1944 film noir that was nominated for several Academy Awards. Film noir are usually crime dramas with sexual undertones. Scenes in these films are usually lit with low angled key lights, creating contrasting shadows on the subjects. It's a tough style to perfect. Let's see how director DJ Gearhart does.
Come in. Mr. Neff. That's right. Please. Come in, Miss. Mrs. Mrs. Dietrichson? Dietrichson. I know that name. Accident and liability on three cars. Do you know all of your clients that well? Only the pretty ones. What can I do for you, Mrs. Dietrichson? My husband and I want more life insurance. That's a honey of an anklet. My husband travels a lot, and I want to be prepared for any eventualities that may come up. I can do that. How much are we talking? 50,000? 100,000? Two million. That should pretty much cover any eventuality. Can you do it? Tell me. What's engraved on that anklet? Just my name. Mrs. Dietrichson? Phyllis. Phyllis, is it? I think I like that. But you're not sure. I got a drive it around the block a couple times. Mr. Neff, why don't you come by tomorrow after 8.30? He should be home by then. Who? My husband. You'll want to meet him, won't you? Of course, but uh, sort of getting over that idea, if you know what I mean. There's a speed limit in this state, Mr. Neff. 55 miles an hour. How fast was I going? I'd say around 90. Suppose you get down off your motorcycle and write me a ticket. Suppose I let you off with a warning this time. Suppose it doesn't take. Suppose I whack you over the knuckles. Suppose I break out crying and lay my head on your shoulder. Suppose you put it on my husband's shoulder.
8.30 tomorrow evening, then. That's what I suggested. You'll be there, too? I usually am. Same hat, same perfume, same anklet. I wonder if I know what you mean. I wonder if you wonder. Did you know that film noir is French for black film? The director of The Mantis, DJ Gerhardt, tries to capture the spirit of film noir with his use of black and white photography. Lighting for black and white films is an art in and of itself. You have to pay attention to contrast between white and black for every shot in order to separate objects from one another. A few shots in The Mantis carried the quality of lighting you would see in Hollywood film noir. Thanks, DJ, for showing us your film. That's all we have time for this week. Join us next time for more creative shorts by young filmmakers from our region. If you'd like to submit your own film to WBGU TV's Cinema U, check out our website or Facebook page for details. Before we go, let's consider the thoughts of director Stanley Kubrick. The screen is a magic medium. It has such power that it can retain interest as it conveys emotions and moods that no other art form can hope to tackle. Today we leave you with one last magical film created by BGSU art student. Here's Christian Dogstrub's Spatial.